Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a scratch clicker game. Uh, and so the point of this game is that you're going to have uh, an object bouncing around your screen and your goal is to click it with your mouse and that gives you points. So to do that, let's go ahead and start by choosing a theme. Um, so I'm going to look at the backdrops. Um, and honestly, I think basketball would work really well for this one. So I'm going to do basketball. Um, and I'm going to have the, the basketball actually bouncing around the screen. So uh, I'm going to get rid of the scratch cat um, and add a basketball sprite. There we go. Okay, now to get it to move, let's go ahead and, and start with our event block. We're going to say when the green flag is clicked, we want this basketball to move constantly. And right now I'm, I'm writing code inside the basketball. So I would say if I just put a you know move 10... Right, every time I click it, the ball moves. Not really what I want though. Um, so I could do a go to random position. And that'll do it. But I have to click the green flag every time. So that's one way. Let me show you the difference between this and glide now. So glide also will go to a random position. But this time, it's going there smoothly. And in my opinion, that's going to be way too easy to play. So, um... Unless, I mean, you could always turn this timing down. Yeah, could work. But I'm going to do just this go to random position. Uh, now, to make it happen constantly, over and over and over again, we're going to go into the orange section, control, and we need to put a forever loop. We could put it as a repeat. Um, we're going to only do a certain number of times, but this one, I just wanted to always keep going. Ooh. Now, you'll notice something that's wrong. Um, the ball is moving literally every second, every time the computer is like refreshing itself, playing this game and looking through this code, um, it's moving that ball in. So it's happening way too fast. Uh, so we can go ahead and put a, a simple weight block right after that. And there we go. That's a way more reasonable thing. We can we can also you know speed this up a bit, make it a little bit harder. Also slow it down. Okay, I think one second I see is pretty good. All right, so that gets the ball moving. Let's go ahead and make it so we're gonna get a score, get some points. So to do that, uh, I'm actually gonna use a variable for my score, and I'm gonna change the name of my variable here to just say score. Okay. By the way, this little checkbox next to score will turn the score on and off and show the score on your game. So we have that checked. Let's go ahead back to events. And we're going to use this sprite, uh, when sprite clicked block. I want to say when that sprite is clicked, we're going to change my score by one. So now every time I click that, the score goes up. If I'm playing it, right, it's going to be going up. If I click somewhere else, it doesn't work. Click the, click the actual basketball, it does. Okay, so that's working. Um, if you look carefully at the score though, every time I start it, right, my score is like remaining. So I want to, a good practice is to always do this. We should set our score to zero right at the beginning. Okay, and that just makes sure that every time we hit play, we're starting on a fresh game. All right, now this would be a working game all on its own. This would be something that you could play. Um, we could add other things too, like we could have it play sound effects. Maybe you could play this sound effect. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear this, but let's see. All right, so it gives some uh, audio feedback when you're, when you're getting it. Okay, one other thing I think would be helpful to add though would be a uh, a background that says you win and maybe it, there's like a, an end uh, to the game too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would do that. Uh, so I'm going to add a custom backdrop. It's just going to be it's going to be basically a, a blank screen with uh, some text on it. Let's make it make the color green. It says you win, something like that. Center it. 
looks fine to me. And I think it's a good convention to also name things properly. I'll name this my UN background. All right, I'm gonna actually put some code inside this backdrop. So uh, I'm still selecting the backdrop over here. So I'm gonna make code that says, when I start, I want to constantly be checking. So I'm gonna do constantly check if the score is greater than or equal to some number. So I'll put the score in there. Uh, so just for now, just to test it, I'll say 10. If the score is ever greater than 10, I want it to change the backdrop. Backdrop. So I'm gonna say switch backdrop to you win. All right, we should, oops. Then I also should probably say in the beginning, when you first start, you should probably start on basketball. So when you first click it, start on basketball, then you're going into this loop and you're constantly checking. If your score is ever greater than 10, you're gonna switch it to the you win screen. Um, one other thing I like to do is I'm gonna use a, a broadcast here. And I'm gonna say my message is gonna be just you win. Okay. But that broadcast will then go to, it can go to other sprites. So then I'm going to go back into my basketball code and I'll say when I get this broadcast, when I receive you win, I'm going to, I'm going to hide the basketball and then I'm going to stop everything else. Um, and I should probably also make sure I show the basketball when you normally start. Doesn't really matter where I put it, I'll put it there. Okay, so let's try our again. If I get over 10 points, so 10 right there, and the next one I did get should stop everything and tell me I win. No more sound effects, I can't click anything, it's not draggable, the game is complete. So there you go.